welcome back guys today we'll be checking out south of the circle so this is a deep narrative adventure game so let's check the option first see how many languages game supports a lot so since this is a narrative game i'm just gonna play like 20 minutes to 30 minutes of this game in order so that I don't spoil the whole freaking game. Strap the music. What? Just give me the frog some music. Okay, let's go. By the way, a uh, controller is recommended for this game. Looks like it's sound. It's one of those bush plane. Hey. 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 Come on. Wake up. Uh, wake up. Uh, oh, thank God you're all right. Ah. God, my leg, it's jammed. It's jammed in here. Here, let me help. It's broken. It's broken. Got stuck under the bloody rudder pedal. Anything I can do? Uh, see if there's a first aid kit around, would you? Should be behind my seat. Give me a moment. Nice, this fully voice. This looks like a visual novel. An interactive visual novel. Sounds painful. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, it's not gonna last forever, though. Oh, where are we? Hopefully not out of range of the radio masts. Oh. Mayday, mayday. This is Alpha Romeo Lima. Crashed south of Deception. Coordinates roughly 82 south, 19 west. Come on. Hello, Faraday. Do you read? Nothing. Do you think you can move? Uh, that's a no. Uh, puts pay to flying out of here. I'm good for nothing like this. And the plane's in no fit state either. Oh, I reckon I saved her from the worst of it, actually. She's gonna need some help getting her up again. Hey, hey. Hey, see that up there? We were about to fly over one of the British outposts. Deception point, that should be it there. Maybe they've got a doctor. Uh, yeah, I, I think I can see it. So can you make it? Make it? It's, it's freezing out there. Well, you'd rather stay in this tin can and we both freeze to death. Uh, we, 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 we could wait. Oh, come on, mate. Your very godmother's not going to magically appear. Nobody knows we're here. Oh, come on, mate. I've done my best to get us down in one piece. Time to be a man, eh? Yeah, be a man. How far away do you think it is? Could be five, ten miles. Can you make it? Maybe. We don't really have a choice, do we? Yeah. Good man. 
how will I find my way back? Uh, uh, there might be something here. I uh, keep a box for emergencies. I think this qualifies. Uh, flares. You keep an eye out. I'll open this window and send one up on the hour. I'll help you get your bearings. Hey! Hey, you here? Uh, I'm here. I'm here! Just don't lose yourself out there, okay? Just keep straight. Okay. Uh, I'll be back as soon as I can. You just... Mind that leg. Yeah, thanks. Hey, you watch out, okay? It's ten below zero. Uh, wish me luck. Yeah, best of British luck. Okay, at least close the door. Oh great, it's pitch white. It's a black now. Can't even see where I'm walking. It's closer? What is this? Uh, is this a memory? Flashback? Yeah, it's probably a flashback. Oh, here, let me help. Oh, I think I can manage. No, honestly, it's fine. <laughs> oh. Not as easy as it looks. Oh, dear. Let me give you a hand. Oh, no, no, no. I, I can do it. Um... It's easier with both of us, don't you think? All right. Um, on three. One, two, three. That's my fault. There's too many books. Oh, that's what's in here. <laughs> oh. That's a lot of well, books. Uh, there you go. Teamwork. I, I, um, I could have managed. I'm sure, yes. Thank you. Right, um, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Oh, do you join me? Well, I don't think you'd have much luck finding another free carriage. Uh, all right, thank you. All right then. <clears throat> Your work? My students. They haven't learned the art of editing just yet. Still, someone's got to mark it. You're, you're marking all of that? I'm trying to. I can't complain. When I was a student, my professor said to me, you don't expect me to mark all that, do you? So I won't complain now they're handing me all this. Well, um, feel free to complain to me if it helps. <laughs> it <laughs> might, thank you. Uh, long journey? Yes, all the way from Edinburgh. And you're heading for the uh, university, I take it? To Cambridge, that's right. And you are too, I can see that. You can see? How? Is it my suit? I prefer Priestley's ideas about weather patterns, personally. I beg your pardon? Your book it fell out onto the seat. Oh, ah. <laughs> Would you mind if I take a look? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Formulation of complex cloud patterns, G.B. McNeil. I found it rather heavy going myself. You've 
You've read it. Mm. I had to set this one for my undergraduates. Not that any of them probably read the bloody thing. The fact that you've got it on you makes me think you're not a student. You're lecturing too, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. Oh. Uh, enjoying it? I am, very much. Thank you. Uh, Peter, how do you do? Oh, Clara, how do you do? Oh, your uh, bookmark. Oh, oh, uh, don't worry, it's just a just a telegram. Oh, your uh, your telegram. It's Sorry. Nothing. It's nothing. Just something from my professor. Sorry, I wasn't supposed to see that, was I? It's completely fine, really. Professors do love a telegram, don't they? Your sounds just like my old one. My office, we need to talk about your work, like we're still at school. I'm sure you're not really in trouble. It's mad, isn't it? All these old men having a final say over our future, deciding whether our work's good enough. How it all rests on that one final paper we need just to get anywhere. I know. I, I, I know. I wish they'd actually come and see me teaching. I, I don't know why they don't. I'd love to go and see other lecturers if I were them. I should do it more often. <clears throat> uh, you'd be welcome to come to mine. Oh, thank you. Uh, if there's space, perhaps. How many students make it to them? Oh, uh, hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of undergraduates. Maybe you'll see for yourself. Maybe I will. Oh. oh, there's a red light up ahead. I suppose I can get a little more work done. Um, let me know when we're coming up to the bright lights of Cambridge, won't you? Sure. Okay, we're back in the snow. So are we somewhere in the Arctic? Hopefully there's no bears nearby. We made it. Hello? Anyone home? Hello, is anyone here? Check the door. It's locked. The lights on, maybe? Okay, another flashback. So, do come and see me if you have any questions on the lecture. One or two would be nice. You can leave if you like. It's over. Or do you have a question? I do, in fact. Uh, oh, it's yes. the girl. Are we allowed to visit other people's lectures? Oh, oh, it's you. Um, I, I didn't see you up there. You decided to come. I did. Uh, liked it? I didn't think you're too bad. Not too bad? Huh. Not well, good I'm either? Glad you thought so. The others don't seem to care so much. Make a run for it as soon as they can. Well, they're a loss. I wouldn't worry. People all seem a bit jumpy at the moment. 
I found it fascinating. Finding a way to trace the paths of all the world's clouds across the sky. It, it is fascinating, you're right. It's quite poetic, I thought. Oh, you were paying attention too. In, in theory, it, it's great. It's, um, just need to prove it's possible. It's, uh, taking a while. A wonderful subject for your paper, I would have thought. <clears throat> yes, you would have thought. Well, I've had no luck with mine, if it's any consolation. Just getting anything approved is a nightmare. Still, they can't say no once they've found my beautiful subject, like you. It's true, I am a, an excellent subject. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, Dr. Hamilton hasn't finished in here yet. Sorry about that, a bit too keen sometimes. Are they all here for your lecture? Yes. You'd be welcome to stay if you like. Yeah, why not? Uh, well, why, why not? Thank you. Wonderful. I'll just go see to this mob and give you time to gather your papers. Yeah, let's see. Uh, first, let's check if there's coffee. No coffee. Maybe I can find some coffee here. Maybe this way? Clearly it's a dorm room of sort. Wait, there's still smoke in the ashtray. Do they just leave? Okay, there's nothing here. Oh wait. We interact with something. Builds? What is this? Uh Valporate? Sodium Valporate? What is this for? Uh migraines epilepsy and bipolar disorder. Oh great. Let's check the second floor. Maybe there's a radio here. Oh yeah, it looks like this is a radio room. Dermal observer. Observation, same distance, close, no change, close, closer. What were they observing? Oh, there's another. Okay, that's a lot of activity. Earthquake, maybe? Don't tell me it's some kind of bomb. Is there anything I can interact here? Nope. Maybe I'm supposed to go on the other room? Oh, the table. There's nothing to interact with the table. Let's go back on this other room. Oh, there's a door. Maybe, maybe we can use the door? Why are they storing is this water fuel outside? So 
supposed to put that indoors. Okay, another flashback. Peter, marvelous to see you. You've come at the right time. England are 37 for four. Terrible said to the first. Anyway, you said you wanted to see me about something, please. Something you wanted to let me know. Oh, it's a generator room. And it's still running. So it looks like the fuel tank is outside. You know what? I would actually put it inside so that it don't freeze. Okay, let's check the other room. I mean the other other buildings. Uh, this looks like I think that's the Rager room. Oh, there's a vehicle here. Might be able to use the vehicle? Looks like it's locked. So we need to find the keys. Yeah, it's it's uh, some kind of truck vehicle. Hello. Yeah, it's a it's a radio. Radio building. We actually turned the dial. That's actually pretty nice. Hello. Hello, can anyone hear me? Come in. Hello? I said you can come in. Doors open. Peter. Oh, uh, hello there. Uh, sorry. Ah. Good to see some work being done. Good show. My goodness, it's gloomy in here. No, do sit down. You got my note, I presume? Uh, I yes. I'm sure you've been very busy, which explains why I haven't heard from you. So, seems I have to come and pay you a visit instead. Still plugging away, I see. Mind if I take a look? Uh, of course. <clears throat> and most of them are, are, are just uh, weather readings from my contact in South America. Not much to read yet. You will tell me when you've got something, won't you? As your professor, I do need to be kept abreast of things. You'll be the first to know, I assure you. I do hope so. I do hope so. Good grief! I'm not surprised you're getting nothing done with all this racket. What is it this time? Oh. More of them today, I see. Getting ready for another march, I suppose. I can't quite believe how many women are out there. The more they let in, the less serious studying seems to get done in this place. Not built for academic work, I fear. <laughs> oh, my God. I really don't see why they want to join this band of Soviet sympathizers. Soviet sympathizer? Sounds like a peaceful protest. Not doing anyone any harm. Well, you know what I mean. Anyone who's for nuclear disarmament is anti-British, as far as I can see. Oh, I think this, this, this is politics in my this war time. I need to talk to you about that, in fact. To me? That's right. Sit down. It looks like it's a war time. Maybe World War II? Something? What worries me is that all that is distracting people from the very good academic work we do here. This is where I really do need your help, Peter. Very happy to help, always. As you know, I have some friends in high places. I need to persuade these people that this college deserves to survive, deserves the reputation we've built over the years. Now, there's a lot of talk suggesting we're a soft touch. 
a breeding ground for communists. Oh. I need to show we're serious about what we do, and what I need from you is something publishable. Absolutely. That's, that's what I intend to write. I don't doubt it. Make sure it is good, something first rate. This is a great institution, Peter. I need to prove its worth, and I need you to prove yours too. I will. Of, of course I will. It's been three years now. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Not quite. Is this paper really taking up so much of your ample brain power? I mean, your position isn't necessarily permanent. Oh. I'm sure you're hoping you don't have to stay in this dark little room forever. And I'm sure you'll rather leave it after a well-deserved promotion. That's all. Oh, uh... One more thing. The atmosphere here, things have been a little fraught. You must have noticed it's not just those protests that I'm concerned about. You know all about the business with the Cambridge Four, I presume? I, I don't, actually. You don't? A Soviet spy ring. Recruited right here in Cambridge. Passing secrets to the Russians for years, and we knew nothing about it. The oh, papers are having a field day with it. They used to hang for things like this. Well, thank goodness we don't do that anymore. Yes. Yes, we can't stop the world from moving on. They think the Cambridge Four might now be the Cambridge Five. They still don't know who the fifth member is yet. I need to be absolutely sure we are on our guard. So I'd like you to keep an eye out. You would tell me if you saw anything suspicious, wouldn't you? I can trust you on that. Absolutely. You can trust me. Glad to hear it. I'll see myself out. You carry on. Okay, where is this radio? Anybody out there? It's Peter here. I could, but there's no doctor here. Hello, doctor? Who's there then? Nobody. Uh, well, there's... there's nobody here. The place is abandoned. Hello? Uh, that's impossible. They have to... they have to have someone stationed here all year round. Floyd, it's not just the place is empty. Ev everyone's things are here. There are just no people. It's like they... it's like they've all vanished. Maybe, but there's a vehicle here that's been abandoned too. It doesn't sound right. And wherever they went, they, they went in a hurry. Uh, there's footprints everywhere, and they left a mess in their living quarters. What kind of mess? Broken glass, uh, an overturned chair, that sort of thing. Like, like they've been a fight? What, maybe? Or, or maybe there was an emergency, someone got sick or something like that. Okay, I'll, I'll wrap it up and I'll come back. No, no, don't come back, Peter. What? Two hours to get there. You come back here and then where are we? Back to square one. Peter, listen carefully. I don't know for sure, but it's possible that the base you're in might have been attacked. Attacked? attacked? From who? Th this is a research station. Who would attack this place? Soviets? Here? The Cold War hasn't been so cold around here recently. People are ticky. I've heard stories of shots being fired. And you could kill a dozen men down here and no one would know about it. 
You're being paranoid, Floyd. I'm with the guys who work at Deception Point, mate. They run a tight ship. It's not like them to leave it completely deserted without telling anyone. And now you're telling me there are signs of a struggle? You can't rule it out. Well, then I'll come back and we'll make another plan. No. No, there's a chance I can raise someone from here, but if you come back and I can't, then we're back at square one. Better to have us both on their case. Look, I'll keep trying on the radio. You've got to move on. Get out of there, quickly! What about you? First things first, don't worry about me. You want more help if you keep yourself safe. You're in the radio hut, right? Anything in there which could help tell where we are? Uh, there's a map here. Deception point. I, I can see where I am. The base at Deception Point. Okay, okay, great. Anything north of there? There are more buildings to the north. Do you know what they are? I'm, I'm guessing they're not a threat like the Soviets. Don't worry, the Norwegians are allies. They Norwegians are allies. Just pray there'll be someone there when you arrive. You mentioned there was a vehicle. Have you got keys? Oh, that's the key. Uh, got them. Uh, got them. Well, that's something. Let's hope they fill the tank up. Can you see a route on the map? Any landmarks to follow? Um. Up ahead, there's there's some kind of huge rock marked on here. A c cathedral rock. Looks like the highest point around. Maybe I'll be able to see the Norwegian base from there. That sounds like that's your first destination. Peter, can you see anything you can use as a weapon? I've got my hands. That's <laughs> all. Well, don't go searching for one if there's nothing else in there. You don't know when they might come back. Just make sure you send those flares up so I can find you again. Floyd, are you still there? Uh, uh, sorry, I hit the roof, my leg. Look, don't hang about, Peter. Get going, for Christ's sake. I'll keep broadcasting on this frequency when I can. Try and pick it up again when you get to the base. I will, and, and remember those flares. Yeah, I heard you. Look, I've got to go. You just get to that cathedral rock. Over and out. Okay, that's it guys. I'm gonna end the video right here so that I don't spoil the whole game. Because it's a narrative adventure game. So if you like this game, the link is in the description. Like and subscribe. See you again next time. Bye guys.